Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Mozilla have now started rolling out their latest Firefox web browser for desktop, version 111, which they released a short while ago today on the 14th of March 2023. And this has rolled out, give or take, about a month since version 110 rolled out, which has now been bumped up to version 111. Now, when it comes to new features, there's um, not too much going on in that department. It's a little bit thin on the ground um, with new features in Firefox version 111. Over and above uh, three new features that have rolled out, we get a couple of developer improvements, and then we get the all-important security fixes that have rolled out, which we'll take a look at near the end of this video. Now, um, there's not too much to actually show you for the purposes of this video, but just to go through a quick mentions if you want to stick around. Now, the first new feature is that Windows native notifications are now enabled for Windows 10 and Windows 11 users. And I actually did post on this um, in February last month. And um, I'll actually leave a link to that video in the description as it will give you a lot more info. But just to do a quick recap for the purpose of today's video, um, Windows notification support enabled now in version 111 means you'll be able to see notifications from websites um, in the Firefox from the Firefox web browser in the Windows 11 notification center and the Windows 10 action center. So previously um, in Firefox notifications were displayed only in the Firefox web browser. So if you have notifications for Firefox turned on in your Windows settings under your notification settings, you will now be able to see those notifications being displayed uh, in the Notification Center and the Action Center on both Windows 11 and Windows 10, which I think, if you are running Windows, will be a nice move in the right direction. And as mentioned, if the notifications are becoming a distraction, you can always turn those off in your Windows settings. Then the next new feature is regarding Firefox Relay users. Now, just a brief overview as to what Firefox Relay is all about, in case you're unaware. Firefox Relay makes it easy to create email masks that forward your messages to your true inbox. So basically, it masks email addresses. And the second new feature is that Firefox Relay users can now opt in to create Relay email masks directly from the Firefox Credential Manager. But obviously, for this, you must be signed in with your Firefox account. So just take note of that. You'll be need to be signed in with your Firefox account. And then the third new feature is that they have added two, no, two new locales, which are two new locations. The first is Sardinian, and the second one I cannot pronounce. So you're going to have to head over to the release notes for that one. I don't want to mess it up. I will not be able to pronounce that correctly. Now, over and above those three new features, uh, with the key highlights being the native notification support, and um, you can now opt in to create relay email masks directly from the Firefox Credential Manager. And um, we also get a developer web platform improvement where Origin Private File System Access is now enabled in Firefox version 111. And a brief overview as to what that is all about is this is a developer feature, but it allows web applications to store and retrieve data from and to the file system in a sandbox. So that's a developer feature that's now been improved in this latest release. And over and above that, that's more or less... Um, the new features that would appeal and apply to your average home user, mainly using Windows. And over and above that, we get the all-important security updates that have rolled out. So to double-check if you have this latest version, head up to your menu, click on Help, click on About Firefox, and this process will force the upgrade to version 111.0. Now, to see what's new and to check the security updates out, we click on What's New, which will take us over to the release notes. And here is the second location, locale that's been added, as mentioned. I'm unable to pronounce that properly, so there you go. That's the second location over and above Sardinian, as mentioned. And here we get um, a link to the various security fixes. Now, when it comes to security vulnerabilities fixed in Firefox version 111, this is an important security update. So if you are not interested in any new features or improvements, just double check your browser is up to date. As I always mention with uh, security updates, as it is your first line of defense to the online world. And there are 13 security fixes that have rolled out to address 13 vulnerabilities. And out of the 13 security fixes that have been made available, um, seven of those are high impact vulnerabilities that have been patched, which is your second highest after a critical. So as mentioned, 
a very important security update um, that rolls out 13 security fixes to address seven high impact vulnerabilities. So double check your browser is up to date. So that's more or less what's new in Firefox version 111. So as mentioned, a bit thin on the ground with new features. And uh, when it comes to our next release, which will be Firefox version 112, uh, that will be rolling out on the 11th of April um, next month, 2023, give or take a month from today's release date. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.